Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 7 over 2 whole cubed minus 1 is equal to cube root of 8x plus 64. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This x plus 7 over 2 whole cubed can be written as x plus 7 cubed divided by 2 cubed minus 1 is equal to cube root of 8 times x plus 64. Next, x plus 7 whole cubed divided by 2 cubed is 8 minus 1 is equal to cube root of from these two terms uh, we can factor out 8 8 as common factor and in bracket left x plus 8 now we can write the denominator of this one 1 we write common denominator 8 now 8 divided by 8 is 1 1 time this expression x plus 7 whole cubed minus 8 divided by 1 is 8 and 8 times this one 8 is equal to cube root of 8 times x plus 8. Now from here we multiply both sides by 8. So, this 8 will be cancelled out with this 8 and at left hand side we are left with x plus 7 whole cubed minus 8 is equal to 8 times cube root of 8 times x plus this 8, this 8 is same as 7 plus 1. So, we write here 7 plus 1. 1. Now, here we have x plus 7 and here we have x plus 7. So, we suppose that let x plus 7 is equal to a. Then, uh, this equation will become a cubed minus 8 is equal to 8 times cube root of 8 times in place of this x plus 7 we write a plus 1 x a cubed minus 8 is equal to 8 times cube root of this 8 times a 8 a and 8 times plus 1 plus 8. Now, suppose that this 8 a plus 8 is equal to b cube. Let 8 a plus 8 is equal to b cube. Then uh, this equation will become a cubed minus 8 is equal to 8 times uh, cube root of b cubed. Next, a cubed minus 8 is equal to this cube will be cancelled out with this cube root and at right hand side we are left with 8 times b. Let us call this equation equation 1. From this equation if we move this 8 to the right hand side then this implies that b cubed minus 8 is equal to 8a. Let us call this equation equation 2. Now, from equation 1, we subtract equation 2. Then, this will become a cubed minus 8 minus b cubed minus 8 is equal to 8b minus 8a. Next, a cubed minus 8 minus b cubed. Negative time, this negative 8 will become plus 8 is equal to 
h times b minus h times a. Now, this positive 8 will be cancelled out with this negative 8. And at left hand side, we are left with a cubed minus b cubed. We move this uh, negative a to the left hand side, it will become plus 8a. And we move this uh, 8b to the left hand side, it will become negative 8b is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. From these two terms, 8a minus 8b, we can factor out 8 plus 8 as common factor and in bracket left a minus b is equal to 0. And from here, as you can see, this expression a minus b, this expression a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus b and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this a squared plus a b plus b squared and this plus 8. In bracket left uh, a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared plus uh, 8 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared plus 8 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to b. From this equation, we move this 8 to the right hand side. Then this will become a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared is equal to negative 8. From here, we multiply both sides by 4. Left hand side, we multiply by 4. So, 4 times a squared, 4 a squared, and 4 times plus a b plus 4 a b plus 4 times b squared, 4 b squared is equal to negative 8 times 4, negative 32. Now, this 4a squared can be written as 2a squared and this plus 4ab can be written as plus 2 times 2a times b. So, we write this 4b squared as plus b squared plus 3b squared is equal to negative 32. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity, a squared plus uh, 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This uh, 2a squared plus uh, 2 times 2a times b plus uh, b squared will become 2a plus b whole squared plus uh, 3b squared is equal to negative 32. Now, this value 2a plus b whole squared is a positive number and this value 3b squared is a positive number. Sum of uh, two positive numbers cannot be negative. So, this equation will be rejected. We accept only this equation a is equal to b. Now, recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a cubed minus 8 is equal to 8b. Equation 1 is a cubed minus 8 is equal to 8b. So, we replace this b with this a. Then, in this equation will become a cubed minus 8 is equal to 8a. Now, we move this 8a to the left hand side, then this equation will become a cubed minus 8a minus 8 is equal to 0. 
Now, in this expression at the left hand side, we add and subtract 2a squared like this a cubed, we add 2a squared, and we subtract 2a squared minus this 8a, 8a minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, a cubed plus 2a squared, we can factor out a squared a squared as common factor in bracket left a plus 2 minus this 2 a squared. Now, we write this uh, negative 8 a as we write this negative 8 a as uh, negative 4 a minus 4 a. So, this will become negative 4 times a minus 4 times a minus 8 is equal to 0. Next, a squared times a plus 2. Now, from these two terms, negative 2a squared minus 4a, we can factor out negative 2a. So, negative 2a as common factor in bracket left a plus 2. And from these two terms, negative 4a minus 8, we can factor out negative 4. Negative 4 as common factor in bracket left a plus 2 is equal to 0. And from here you can see that this a plus 2, this a plus 2 and this a plus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this a plus 2 and in bracket left this a squared, this negative 2a and this negative 4. In bracket left a squared minus 2 times a minus 4 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression a plus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression a squared minus 2a minus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of a is equal to negative 2. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, a is equal to negative, value of a is negative 2 plus minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times, in place of a, we write 1 times in place of c, we write negative 4 divided by 2 times in place of a, we write 1. Next, a is equal to negative times negative 2 positive 2 plus minus square root of negative 2 squared is positive 4 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 4 plus 16 divided by 2 times 1, 2 and a is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 16, 20 divided by 2. a is equal to 2 plus minus this square root of 20 can be written as the square root of 4 times square root of 5 divided by 2. And a is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 5 divided by 2. Next, a is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor in bracket left 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get the value of a is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 and first we get the value of a is equal to negative 2. First we get the value of a is equal to negative 2. Now, to find the values of x, recall that 
we have suppose we have suppose that x plus 7 is equal to a we have suppose that x plus 7 is equal to a so when a is equal to negative 2 then this equation will become x plus 7 is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 2 minus 7 x is equal to negative 9. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation. Now, when a is equal to 1 plus minus root 5, then this equation will become x plus 7 is equal to 1 plus minus root 5. And x will be equal to negative 7 plus 1 plus minus root 5 and x is equal to negative 6 plus minus root 5. So, from here we get the other two values of x. x2 is equal to negative 6 plus root 5 and x3 is equal to negative 6 minus root 5. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.